Hi, Jamie here, and welcome to this walkthrough video of this album that I just recently made for Heidi Swap Media Team. I'm taking uh, the Storyline album from that's now available at Joanne Stores and using Hawthorne Collection that's out and available, but also at the Joanne Store Boutique. And um, making a mini album, and this one specifically for Mother's Day, but I don't limit it to Mother's Day. This would be a great al um, album for um, friends, yourself, because <laughs> it's very tipsy for me to want to keep this. So let's do a walk through. Cute, cute front cover with, um, I, I first thought they were gold dots, but I think they're a little bit more champagne dots. And um, you're going to see that as you open this album up, that these storyline eight by six albums. They start with a vellum sheet and it usually doesn't have anything on it. I of course have started embellishing it. I use the um, foam alpha letters with the gold, I'm sorry, with the champagne mink foil. And that's going to be a theme throughout this book is the champagne and the foam letter stickers as well as the word stickers. Um, one of the things I like to do when I do create a mini album, and this one's pretty um, cohesive because the photos are all from a photo shoot of my family last year. And I printed them all out and made them uh, ready for this album in particular because I wanted my mom to have all the photos from that shoot. Um, so because the photos are pretty cohesive, I also want to keep the pages pretty co cohesive. And I do that a couple of different ways. One of the ways is by keeping the embellishments limited. Um, I have a theme of embellishments that goes through the whole entire book. I will point those out to you. And then I also do those elements in sort of a repetitive manner. So they kind of show up in the same places from page to page. And um, I believe that also helps give a note a um, rather cohesive feel to an album. The inside of this particular storyline um, spiral bound album is black and I added a piece of the Hawthorne pattern paper, um, mainly because it's beautiful. Secondly, because again, I wanted this to kind of speak to the whole thing that was going on here and the theme of this album. Each of the storyline um, al mini albums like this have a title page and this one happens to be best of the best. I just kept it all plain because I thought the vellum was just a nice decorative piece to it. So when you open it up, I'm going to introduce you to the elements that you're going to see throughout this entire album. So for example, um, I showed you the foam letters and I'm going to show you how those work here in a minute. Um, there's also foam words and phrases. And so um, why don't you take a look at how exactly these work in this next little segment, and then we'll continue with the book. All right, I want to show you how these foam letter stickers work. And I am going to be spelling the word mom here at the bottom of my tag. So you pull the letter alpha stickers off just like you would any other kind of sticker. The back is going to have um, an adhesive sticky back to it. And these letters not only come in this alphabet set, but you'll see in my mini album as well that there are words and phrases, um, which is totally fun and cool. So when I pull the top off of these, it's going to reveal a sticky surface. And that surface is now perfect to take uh, glitter, or foil flakes, or what I'm going to use today, you see here I have the champagne mink reactive foil. With the reactive foil, I don't need to pull out my mink machine for this. This is a pretty quick application. I'm going to also make a note here too that if you've got nails in the way that you might want to use a piercing tool to pull up you, the, the front. They, they come off super easy, but I might be uh, not helping myself very well here. So then when these get pulled off, you have a great surface for any of those mediums. So I have here a piece of the champagne mink reactive foil. I'm just going to lay that right on top and then I will rub over it gently with my finger and make sure I have everything adhered well. As I pull off the foil, 
I will uh, check and make sure I have a good application. I have a pretty good application. Sometimes you just got to go back in and just sort of touch it up a little bit for maybe some pieces that didn't quite get a good coverage. And that's all you do to make this mom tag is um, the alpha letters, pull off the tops and foil them. And that's how the foam letters work. So you see here, I have the um, foam word word phrase here and using the champagne foil. Um, another thing that you're going to see throughout this, so those two things, the foam words, foam letters, champagne. The other thing you're going to see throughout this are these clear stickers. These are beautiful floral um, clear stickers that a lot of times I'll cut them in half and tuck them underneath a photo or a page element. And so that is going to run through these pages. And then another thing that I made pretty consistent was here you see this circle um, journal spot. Um, this is, I believe, the Hayden paper from Hawthorne. And um, I just die cut circles out throughout the book. And this is where I'll go back in and I will be journaling in here. I'm not leaving these blank. I just want to point out real quick too, um, before we get too far in this album, each of these pages, because it's a storyline, and storyline is to be a very basic um, print your photos, write your story, had a couple of elements, sort of album. I went over the top here a little bit, but it gives you a pre-printed place that says who, what, and where. And so you'll see throughout the album that I sort of cover that up a little bit and I'll show you that when I get there. It also shows on each page a day of the week, day, month, and year. So when I felt that was appropriate to fill those in, I did. Otherwise, I just sort of hid them. Okay, so we're repeating that again, the foam words right here, um, my space for my um, journaling. This is an ephemera clear piece here that has the floral on it. I have floral sticker over here though, so it still kept that pretty consistent. You'll see here on this page that I went up into where the, you can kind of see behind there maybe, the who, what, where is, and I covered that up with my photo. I covered up the date stamp part with some washi tape, and I think it looks completely natural, and you don't really miss a beat at all covering up those pieces of the storyline element. Uh, storyline pa story page. Okay, what I did here um, is uh, I covered up a mistake. <laughs> so um, I I'd sort of ripped one of the pages when I was working on this. So I decided I wanted to, I needed to fix that. So a great way to fix that was I went ahead and in between these, these lines, I cut out my page and I trimmed it down. And then I realized that the We Are Memory Keepers planner punch board, that the gold um, punch mechanism is a perfect fit for this binding mechanism. So then I went and I cut holes here in this pattern paper and I added it into my page. And that way I was able to fix my mistake and still I have, I think this is just one of my favorite pages. I just love how this spread out like it did. But um, I show later on in the album that I added another piece in, and it's because of using the planner punch board. Perfect fit for this album. So again, this time I used my um, journal circle and uh, wrapped it around the page, and there's plenty of room there for adding more journaling. And there you can see my floral sticker, and of course each page will have um, a foam word and this is the title of this page is my babes because they're my babes okay next page yeah we're good next page just same thing as i did previously covered up that pre-printed covered up this pre-printed with tape and with the photo and if your pictures are large enough if they're not large enough just make them so that can cover that up if you're wanting to go a little bit different direction with your storyline album and repeated elements here repeated elements here as well and um, again still left myself some room for journaling now on these next couple of pages i printed out a photo of each of my kids and so um, we have five children, and so that means there'll be five pages, um, actually six spreads, and you'll see what that looks like when we get to the end of it. Um, and what I did here is what I do a lot in a mini album, and I really wanted to share this with you, is that um, I repeat elements. 
And I repeat them in such a way that it's sort of more of a variation on a theme than it is, oh, that's super obvious what she just did. It's not really that obvious. And so what you're going to see I did here on each of these next um, six page spreads is that um, I don't reinvent every page. So what I did here, circle punch with that journaling paper and then pieces of washi. Um, this is one of, this is the word jumbles that you can mink. I just want to point that out. I'm not, that's not something I did this time, but um, these word phrase stickers, you can um, foil those. And of course my foiled paper. And then I um, punched some hearts and popped them up. I did the very same thing over here, but opposite. So I started with washi tape. I added this word jumble. Oh, I, I have the these letter stickers for their age. Popped up heart. And again, a journal circle. Um, and I just did it opposite. So it just it has a design play. So this kind of reads into that a little bit. And you're going to see the same thing here. Um, washi tape. Um, word phrase, number stickers, underneath is the journal tag, and then um, the foam words. The only thing on this side of the page is that there's not foam words. And um, you'll have to forgive the blah, blah, blah that I added here for this page for my oldest son. But when I saw the blah, blah, blah in the Hawthorne ephemera, um, I just knew that was going to be perfect for him and his page. And again, these elements are completely repeated again. But because the, the letter stickers are changed up a little bit, the words changed up, the washi tapes changed up a little bit, it's not like you're looking at these real obvious repeat pages. But I'll tell you what it does when you have something real similar. It really saves you time. So then that sort of speaks right back into the whole storyline aspect of scrapbooking is to make it something very doable and... Um, that is, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It saves you time. And it's just kind of a lot of fun too, to sort of just change up the embellishments a little bit and not make them too matchy matchy. Okay. Last page here that I want to show you. And what I did here, and I hinted at this um, on my post at HeidiSwap.com is that this page, Life is Good, was the last page of this album. And what I did is I cut it out. I use the planner punch board again and, um, no, I take that back. No, I didn't need that for this. I'm getting ahead of myself. No, what I did, I just went in here in between the coils and I cut the paper. I gently pulled it off of its binder ring and then I added it here and I added a cardstock sticker there as well. I just liked having that big, bold, um, word art right there against the last page in this particular album. I did, however, use the planner punch board when I added this four by four page element. This is from a pattern um, paper in Hawthorne that has a um, cutaway element to it. So this is a four by four piece. And I was trying to go for this whole title of featuring us. And so this flips open and I create a pocket. And again, there, da da there's no surprise there. There's another journaling circle inside my pocket. And I just embellished that and then um, finished. This page is super simple. I still have my um, floral clear sticker element and then just my photo. And that pretty much completes this album that I made for my mother for Mother's Day. Um, I stayed with the same elements on the front. I colored some seam binding with pink color shine and I um, die cut some tags, die cut some hearts. And I showed you how I did this earlier. And that is a look at this Mom's Day mini album using Storyline and Hawthorne Collection by Heidi Swap. That's available at Joanne's stores. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.